Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Igama Asanda Gantini, and welcome to Load Shedding South Africa. If you are new to this channel and if you are new to the term load shedding, it's a, it's a time when we are deprived of our rights to electricity, a right that's enshrined in the, in, in the, the constitution. That's us and load shedding. Anyways, uh, back to the video. Let's play and welcome to my channel where I vent about all things and everything. Let's get to it. This week, Sunday was uh, Mother's Day here in South Africa and many parts of the world as well. So we celebrated Mother's Day. We thank and bless God for having mothers, but there are certain people who do not bless God and who do not thank God for the opportunity to have mother because their mothers have become a curse in their life. Their mothers are... When we have load shedding, people play with their cars. Anyways, so there are mothers who are not mothering, <laughs> like we have those people and so I'm going to speak about it. I'm going to speak about the damaged relationships between mothers and their children, especially um, daughters and mothers. Uh, reason for this, I saw a post by Mary Jane, attorney. Uh, it went viral on South African Twitter. Uh, she said, I finally blocked my mother. And the reply is there. Some started saying, yeah, I've also blocked her from my statuses because of this and that. And others uh, were questioning, why would you block your mother? And others saying, giving the typical, you'll never find another mother. They only have one mother, so you must appreciate them in the sense that um, you should allow people to be toxic, you should allow people to do whatever and say whatever to you. Uh, as long as they are alive, they have a right to be shitty people in you. That's basic, in a nutshell, what people were saying to her. And she did not take that lightly. She told them where to get off. And I like that for her. Anyways, so, uh, and then she clarified the next day why. She didn't clarify, she just said, I, I'm not going to tolerate more of this toxic behavior from, from this same woman who was able to say uh, she wish I could get raped, um, she wish um, could belittle every achievement that I have. And Mary Jane is doing well for herself. She's an attorney, she's also a travel blogger. So, and she belittles every achievement that I have. The only kind of relationship we have is when she's demanding stuff from me because she's entitled to, because she's our mother. She's my mother. And that's the kind of dynamics that we have in most mother and child relationships. And the, my problem with mother, with mother and child relationships is that they get so much good PR that whenever you mention, you would say, oh, mama is actually doing this and this, oh, mama is actually this. And most of the time, most of the time, when you go to people that have bad relationships with their fathers, when you go back you, and when they reconcile with their fathers sometimes, it's because the mother just didn't want you to communicate with your mother, uh, your father. Your mother just didn't want you to have a relationship with, with their father because they couldn't have a relationship with the man. What kind of toxic behavior is that? Most marriages end because the mother is so toxic to the daughter-in-law because some mothers think that they are entitled so much to their son that nobody else can have them, nobody else should replace them, which is very stupid that uh, you'd want to be put in the same scale as a, as a wife. Where exactly, what kind of hierarchy do you have in that? You just gave birth, you, you the Bible says that uh, uh, um, you know, a, a man and a, and a woman will live their mother's home. Why won't you just let your children leave? your home and build your life with their children. That's why we have such broken uh, relationships with, with mothers. And most of the time, guys grow up in resentment because, oh mama, when they eventually realize, it, actually my mother ruined my relationship. Some don't realize and some never really have a, a stable relationship because 
again when you go back when you go back in time you'd actually realize with home I'm because they are the same people especially in uh my tribe not the Zulu, not like the Zulu tribe the tribe that is my mother's side the other tribe you'll figure out which tribe i am once you know the surname of my father of which you don't um that tribe would usually uh bewitch the first son to be taking care of the rest of their family until the day that they perish and the f unfortunate part is that most of the time the first son would have a horrible life once their mother dies because obviously and if there's no one to fuselela it, that person is likely to just have a life that takes an L. And they do that to their, they used to do that in, with their first time. Uh, their, there's history of that, I know stories of that, I uh, don't know right now. But yes, they used to do that and it's very um, wild to see this is what parents would actually do. Anyways, let's go into... <laughs> I've just went on a rant on why mothers are toxic. Okay, so let's get into how uh, relationships are bad besides those that are just wild like the Mary Jane that, that I've explained. But most of the time what I've noticed and there's also this video circulating, uh, not video but a screenshot that's circulating where the child is young, still probably in high school or in primary school because she was asking to go to a boarding school, saying how toxic their mother is. And mothers are very toxic. They drink, like mothers bamanje, drink a lot. Uh, maybe they used to drink when our, maybe the mothers that raised our mothers used to drink, so they saw that, I don't know, but we have a very vile and very bad situation in our society of alcohol where women drink like it's coming to an end, I don't know. And because of that, you, they, um, they are neglectful to their children. They are dismissive to the feelings of their children. And they basically leave their children to raise themselves. You can't leave a 10 year old to fend for themselves simply because you want to go to a party or you want to go to an event. You can't leave a 10 year old and expect them to be able to make decisions of this and that and that's fine. Like, it's not fine. And they continue the cycle and be shocked uh, at the end of their lives when children are now giving the same, um, the same treatment. I'm not going to check on you. I'm not going to do this and this and you. And it's very strange because uh, I could see mothers that didn't get the treatment or didn't even get a message or a call from their children saying, uh, I raised this person, but now they've blocked me. Now they didn't say anything. But when you check yourself and check, how was my relationship with this person as we were growing up? You realize that actually I was just a very uh, shitty parent and expected to be rewarded just because, and now expect to be rewarded just because I'm a mother. Not cool, not cool mothers. <laughs> we look at the, the, the dismissing feel, the feelings of their children and how they feel. Like if your child comes to you and says, mom, I don't like the fact that you come back home late. Uh, leaving me alone your mother will tell you that actually you are old enough what happened to you that's a dismissive trait that child will uh, where, as they grow up will say I'm, I, I can't have a relationship where I go to my mother I can't go to my mother simply because uh, she's already stated you see, this is what I can't do and when you have that sort of situation where a person cannot even go to their mother. What happens when that person is in trouble is that they will remember also, if ever I want to voice out the feelings that I have, whether it's in their personal life or not just personal life, but physical life. Maybe this person is being uh, abused by a certain uh, family member. Maybe this person is being abused by a certain person. They are likely to go to their mother simply because they know what umma will likely invalidate my feelings umma will likely dismiss every way that i feel so i'd rather not go to her because she's unlikely to do anything about how i feel and how i'm doing and what's strange is that if a father embodies the same uh 
traits they're likely to be dismissed they're likely to be labeled as toxic but but a mother is a mother because she carried you for nine months so we we, we, we we can't blame them they can do no wrong in front of our lives and then this other thing that mothers do is not respecting boundaries that children have and they start doing this from a very young age if a child says Ma, I don't like you calling me this. Ma, I don't like you saying this about me. Ma, I don't like you saying, uh, going through my things like my diary, my phone, uh, this and that. That person is set boundaries. If you just come in and push uh, the door in the room without anything, yes, you want to know what's going on in your child's life. But if you recreate the situation where you don't respect boundaries, that person, when they grow up, you're still going to want to have access to their lives anyway. And that's not a good trait. To, you have to respect the boundaries that a person places. If a person doesn't want to speak about the person that they're dating, respect that. If a person doesn't want to respect, uh, uh, speak about their job, their, the money that they make, whatever it is, as mothers, you all have a responsibility to, to, to respect those things. And after Mother's Day, if if ever you felt that you didn't get the day that you deserve, I think it would be very important to to reflect on the situations that you have, to reflect on the things that you you could do better uh, for yourself, not just for the sake of Mother's Day, but for yourself and for you to just be a better person in society because sometimes some relationships can be salvaged. And then... Um, Mothers are known to live their life through their children. So when, so they want to live the situations that they couldn't achieve. Like if if I if my child must excel, and if they don't excel, it it obviously going to reflect. Or they feel that if I don't excel, it's a reflection of how bad of a parent they are. When it's actually not. Maybe I'm just struggling. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not doing as good as I'm, I'm supposed to do. Maybe I just need support. You're good in excelling that, in that area at school or in that area at work or whatever. In that area in life, whether it's relationship, whether it's what, what. The moment they don't excel in that, you feel that you, you it's reflecting bad on you. If your child is old, maybe 35, 33, 34, 32, and they're not married yet, you feel that that is a reflection of the parent you are. Maybe they have childhood traumas that they can't keep a relationship or maybe they're just not ready to have a relationship and it has nothing to do with you. So you'll need to accept that a child, especially a, an older one, is not a reflection of you. So you shouldn't try. Uh, it's not, not just a reflection on, of you, but it's not an extension of you. So um, this thing of trying to live your life through them, like can't do the mistakes that you did through them is just ridiculous like you must marry rich when you didn't marry rich so the only thing you're, you speak of when you're speaking of a relationship you're like no i'm expecting what if i'm not attracted to the red pill kind of man what if i'm not but now in order to satisfy you i'll try by all means to find this person and then i'm not happy and then what happens i'm not excelling and then again i'm still disappointing you in closing, how is my relationship with my mother? I had to write this down because I don't want to overspeak. Okay, my relationship with my mother is better. Like I'm healing and it's more stable now, especially now that I'm understanding um, that she also has her own traumas from childhood, that she also has her things to unlearn from the way that she was raised so she has to, to to deal with those things herself and i've also accepted that her love language is different than mine like and i should accept that and accept that oh oh is not the same way that maybe i would want it to be because um we are two different individuals and to accept that is a very great place to be with when you are in a relationship with a person because mother and child also have a relationship and it's important to do that and then 
I understand that mostly her love language is acts of service. It's acts of, let me fix this for you instead of um, uh, inquiring on Uguzi, not just how you are, because now she's also very much better with that. Uh, though sometimes it's like, I also want to update you <laughs> with my life, not just checking money. Anyways, um, but it, it it's not going to be just being like she's not as emotional as i am so to understand that is very important and i'm at that area and, and at that at that space with myself and then uh, also understanding that most of the things that she might have done were, were her trying to show me how much she loved me and her trying to ensure that i'm safe or um what she thought was best obviously she was uh also she's also very still very young somebody who's 50 and 26 year old uh that's 24 years dif age difference but in that same light at that at that time things were different and par she par she was parented differently so there's a whole lot of unlearning that needs to go back there so it's very good to understand that and obviously we still have our differences and we still have a very long way to go because there's so much that we haven't spoken about and still need to speak about and I'll encourage everyone to and I've decided that I will work on myself first try and fix me so that I do not just come in harm and come in whatever and also maybe if God provides I'll be able to also like pay for things like therapy for the both of us and that would be cool and uh and also one of my biggest prayers is that she could change her, the environment that she works in because i always feel that where she is right now has changed her character so much like if i could go back to the person she was before she started in that place she was a totally different person and unfortunately environments change people and when people change, relationships are affected because most of the issues that we have when counting them, I always go back and realize, actually, this is an influence of where she is. This is how people in the area that she is think most of the time. And yeah. Anyways, with that said, uh, I hope you guys had a great Mother's Day. Uh, I hope that you are responsible mothers. And I also hope that if your relationship with your child is scarred, you take time to reflect on the choices you made without blame to anyone. Reflect and also understand that your children grow and they will make decisions of who they want in their lives. And you are unfortunately, as a mother, not just entitled to having a relationship with a child by virtue of you carrying them for nine months. Relationships are built and relationships can be broken even if there's blood involved. With that said, I love you lots and I will see you on my next video. And this is now a fault. It's not even load shedding. I love you lots. I uh, still need to figure out what I'm going to eat. Bye.